Hello everyone, my name is Tax Alba and welcome back to the Lovecraftian video game retrospective and welcome to Sons of Eurozyme. Sons of Eurozyme is an interactive novel for Android in which you take the role of a professor from Miskatonic University. You receive a letter from a student who recently went missing and needless to say there's more dark and sinister things behind this than one might have initially thought. The game is very much an interactive novel. You reach through certain passages of text and at a certain point you're confronted with the choice and depending on what choice you make you make through the game or you don't. The game has a couple of halfway unique features. Firstly there's a difficulty selection. There is a more casual mode in which you can make bookmarks at any given time which essentially means saving and there's no skill or sanity system involved so you can essentially just go through the story and you don't really have to fear getting stuck at any point or losing the game altogether. So if you just want to experience the story, this is probably the best thing for you. But you can also choose the so-called adventurer mode, which is essentially hard mode, in which sanity and skill come into play. Both of these are essentially health meters. Occasionally you can invest skill to do a certain thing, which may or may not help you later, and occasionally you can use sanity mostly to confront people or investigate things. The game is actually quite transparent with this and often tells you when you can invest skill and sanity. So if you know that your skill and sanity are low, you can often avoid a choice that would cost you either of these resources, which is actually quite nice and is a, a, quite a neat anti-frustration feature. The game also has a feature that allows you to see where you've already been. So. Let's say you have a choice between continuing to search where you are and going to, let's say, the library. But if you've already been to the library, then the game indicates that you've already chosen the selection at an earlier point, and it's indicated by a color marker. So again, that's a nice anti-frustration feature, so the game tells you what you've already done in case you don't remember it, and you can avoid just walking around too much and wasting your time, also having to read through sections which you've already read through before. The story is actually quite neat. For a Lovecraftian fan, it does it does have some surprises still, but it's not completely fresh, but that is not necessarily a bad thing because it also obviously it, up to a certain degree it caters to this audience, so you have certain expectations, and I wouldn't criticize the game for this. And I think it's also well enough written for someone who's not very much into Lovecraft but just enjoys an interesting interactive story. The program itself is actually quite nicely illustrated. The font is quite readable, the background looks nice, you have page turn animations which are quite nice, none of which are really deal breakers, but it's a nice thing to have. And occasionally you also have illustrations. Those are done in style of a graphic novel, at least that was my impression. And there are, aren't too many of them, but they're actually quite nice and they do illustrate the story. And considering that they're essentially a bonus, I can't complain about them. The, the background music is fine, it's nothing outstanding, but it does the job, it's not distracting, and it does add a little bit to the atmosphere. The one criticism I have with this game is that the app, app seems to be a little bit unstable at times. Occasionally it just displays blank pages. I'm not quite sure whether the text was missing there, or whether this is just a technical issue, and occasionally it would also completely freeze, which is a little bit annoying if you made a bookmark a while back. It's not too much of an issue because usually you can just remake the choice you already made because there's no, no other challenge involved than just remembering what the choice you made last time. But nevertheless, uh, that could be an issue and it seems to depend on your de device, but yeah, keep that in mind. But overall, this game does get a recommendation from me and if you like interactive stories, this is for you. If you like Lovecraft, this is even more for you. And even if you aren't the biggest Lovecraft fan, you can still give this a shot. The game costs 79 pence or your original equivalent, so it's not too much of an investment either. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.